Tim in New York City. Hi, Tim. How are you? Hey, Dave. Hey, Ken. How are you guys doing today? Great. What's up? Um, I'm just one. Uh, nothing much. So uh, I wanted to know, it's a two-part question. There's a human like slash psychological element, and then there's also the financial part. So could I give you the numbers for what our household income is and what our debt is so far first, and then go into the question briefly? Yeah. Sure. Um, so our household income is about 170. Our total debt right now is about 145, um, of 100 of which is my uh, partner's student loans. Um, Your the partner? Portion is, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Are you married? No. We're okay, we don't have a household for... income then. You have an income, she has an income. Correct. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, so let's start, let's start again then. Let's start again then. What yeah. is your income? No problem. My income is about 85000 Okay, and how much debt do you have? I have about $22,000 worth of debt. Okay, and so your roommate has $143,000 or $123,000 worth of debt and $85,000 yeah. income. Yes. Okay. And yeah. And how and much then, savings so the, do you okay. have? Oh, I'm sorry. How much savings um, do you have personally? I have, a, I have about 10,000. Okay. And how much does your roommate have saved? Um, she has about I don't know the exact amount, but somewhere between 120 and 130. But that's part of my question. Okay. Um, so my question, my question is, I want to marry this girl, and I see us, you know, being together indefinitely, and we've been open with each other, talking about how we're going to attack debt. We live with her parents now, and we want to pay this off so we can, you know, get a house in the near future as quickly as possible. Um, so we've been transparent about a lot of things, and I wanted to ask you. So the money that she has saved is from a settlement she got from a medical condition that happened through a surgery and something like that. Um, and she is very reluctant to part ways with any like significant portion of it to pay down her student loan debt. Um, so I just wanted to get both of your opinions as to did she know, recover? Did that. she recover from the medical problem? Um, so it's a chronic. It became a chronic nerve condition that is long term and can become acute. You know, if something bad were to happen, or if you know you don't. So take what care does of yourself, she? What does she spend on the chronic condition per year? Um, right now, I'd put between medication and therapy, maybe around, uh, 10,000. Okay. A little less. Okay. A little less. All right. So if, if, if the I'm amount that she spends that on her di condition doubles, she could still do that easily if she was debt free and didn't have any money. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, here, here's the thing. You don't get to decide what other people do with their money unless you're married to them. And then we yeah. work on our plan together. So I'm going to fast yeah. forward in the conversation and pretend that you're married. But don't do this unless you're married. Okay. The advice, okay? Because it's bad advice. Understood. It's bad advice Understood. when you're not married. Okay? She should Understood. not pay any of your debt. You should not pay any of her debt unless there is a marriage certificate because it's dangerous Correct. okay so if if she called me i would understand her pain uh, uh be empathetic with her pain listen to her and highly encourage her to write a check today and be debt free okay and then take the freedom that she's got with an eighty-five thousand dollar income and begin to rebuild her emergency fund uh, I would tell you to okay. take nine thousand of your ten and put it on your twenty-two, uh, reducing it mm -hmm. to then uh, what eleven to thirteen, and uh, then you're going to pay that off very very quickly out of your eighty-five because you're going to be concentrating on it, and so probably by the time you get your marriage uh, your wedding date set and arranged, you both could be debt free and building your emergency funds, which would put you in a phenomenal position to begin as a married couple to save to buy a house later. Great. And that's Thank the you. shortest distance between where you are and wealth. The shortest distance between where you are as a married couple and financial peace and achieving your goals. Thank you. And if, if you were my kids and you sat down at my kitchen table, which you're both younger than my kids, and so I would tell you to do exactly that same thing. And I've told, I don't know. Hundreds of thousands of people just like you to the exact same thing in the last 30 years on this show. Yeah. Tim, I would just say on the psychology of this, to the best of your ability, sit down with your girlfriend and, and see, help her see what Dave just explained, that she writes a check today, she pays off her debt, 
And between her income and health care and the ability to be free to save, she's not going to be in a financial deficit even with the chronic health condition. But she's got to see that. you got to help her get there. You can't tell her. You have to help show her. That's the psychology there where she gets to a point where she goes, oh, okay, that's great. And she's got to get free of that fear. Yeah, you're right. If you, if you Now, let's change the scenario just for a minute. The reason I was asking all these questions, because it does change the answer, actually, in this mm-hmm. one. Let's say she makes $85,000, has $123,000 in debt, $130,000 in savings. And I ask the question, what was the ongoing cost of her chronic illness? And it's $50,000 a year. Now we're probably not doing this. Yeah. I'm probably going to leave that money sitting there and start to work on the student loans out of my income Mm -hmm. while I work through these chronic things. Because that $130,000 is there to take care of her medical needs first and foremost. That's right. At $10,000 or $20,000, it's not a big problem mathematically. At $50,000 or $60,000, it starts to be a problem. Yep. 